turning our attention to the standoff between China and the Philippines. Chinese travel agencies have begun suspending trips to the Philippines amid concerns over safety. Chinese travelers are cautious over the recent dispute with the country, but remain hopeful for a peaceful resolution. Liu Haining reports from Beijing. On a trip to the tropical islands of the Philippines, tourists from China may need to reschedule. Beijing travel agent Dun Jidong says that recent tensions have made it necessary for his clients to suspend travel to the Philippines. Safety is the prime concern in the travel business. We've learned that there might be anti-China activities in the Philippines, which means a lot of uncertainty. To ensure the safety of our clients, we have suspended all tours to the Philippines, and we will monitor the situation as it develops. In a statement posted on its website on Thursday, the National Tourism Administration told Chinese tourists to avoid unnecessary travel to the Philippines and warned those who are already there to mind their security. And some travelers put off by tensions with the country are canceling trips themselves. I know the situation now is quite unstable. I don't want to put myself in danger, and I'm canceling my planes to the Philippines. For many years, the Philippines is one of the most traveled destinations of Chinese tourists. But now it means more than beautiful sunshine islands. Since April the 10th, the Philippines, the Huangyan Island, and the relationship between the two countries has now become the main focus of Chinese readers. Local newspapers have highlighted the island dispute with front-page headlines and pictures. Nevertheless, many hold out hope for a peaceful resolution. I've never been to the Philippines, so the country is still in my travel plans for the future. Regarding the recent tensions, I certainly think confrontation will do nobody any good, so I hope you will find a peaceful solution. Huangyan Island does belong to China, as shown in history. To ease the tensions, we need a calm and sensible strategy that considers the international situation and China's national interests. The months-long island impasse began on April the 10th when the Philippine warship entered China's territorial waters around Huangyan Island. Attempts to resolve the standoff have yet to be successful, but people are hoping for the best. Liu Haining, CCTV.